The world has gone digital, whether it's uh, booking our holidays or buying our weekly groceries. And to help us understand the way technologies transform the way we imagine, design and build our cities, there's a new showcase at the Building Centre. Well, to talk us through this, I'm joined by Patrick Shoemaker from Zaha Hadid Architects. Hello, Xie. Hello, hello. Um, right, this is fascinating stuff because, as I said before to you, um, it shapes our world and we are all going digital. And I think one day, everything will be digital, am I right? <laughs> well, we're still a physical body, so we will have to be placed in spaces. And these spaces become more intricate, more complex. And we want them to be more intelligently arranged. And that's why we're now using algorithms and computational methods to design and to fabricate using robotic fabrication. So, and in this exhibition, you see some of the examples of very organic new forms, new materials, and the involvement of robots, but also intelligent of arranging spaces in urban patterns. Um, who do you think this would be for? Because I'm thinking someone at university, for example, would absolutely love this because it's a great way to learn, isn't it? Yes, I think this is the building centre. This is for professionals, uh, for other architects, young architects, also students, design students, and a general cultural audience as well who is interested in uh, new developments in the arts, in the sciences, and in this case in design and architecture. And what can it teach us about London's architecture? Yes, there's also a study on London, and London is a very complex, high-density city, and we have new concept of living we're talking about, co-living, even something like subscription living, where What's you have... Well, uh, where, 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 you, where you use Airbnb, maybe you subscribe to a club, or you live uh, in a very small unit with other people, and yeah. you share a lot of facilities. You share um, uh, kitchens and free co-working zones, etc. So we've been developing such such concepts that also involve modular housing. So you aggregate uh, prefabricated units, and the way they congregate is also computationally driven. Patrick, can we just have a look at some of these pictures? Oh, yeah. Because I'm looking at them, and I'm thinking they don't look like buildings to me. <laughs> Well, I mean, what, what's well, going on? Well, some here? of these uh, are just experiments in robotic fabrication. So there's robotic hot wire cutting. Is this the future? Is that what you're Robotic printing. Yeah, I think you can see that the forms are quite curved, organic, mm. intricate. So they can fit better into complex environments. And they're designed through algorithms and they're executed through robotic fabrication. That's why they can be very precise, but also very... Uh, complex and intricate, and yet um, they can be made economically because there's not much human labour involved anymore. It looks like um, what the planet will look like in about 500 <laughs> years' time. I mean, it's very well, futuristic, it's much quicker. I think it? in a few decades uh, we will have to transform the city in the image of these experiments. Well, we we'll have to because we're getting overpopulated, and I suppose that's the whole that's point. That's right. Isn't it? it's, we have it's, to it's, emerge it's, and it's having together, coming closer together, and, and living more sophisticated and intricately, yeah. more mobile, instead of spreading out into the suburbs. Patrick Schumacher, thank you very much My indeed. Pleasure. Right, if that is your thing, then you can see Digital Turn is on until September the 14th at the Building Centre.